Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we're gonna be building our library. So this is the blueprint for the library that Michaela has designed. And this library is gonna take up this entire wall right here. The first part of this build is gonna consist of building the main structure. The main structure is gonna go behind these pieces of trim here, which are fluted casings, which is basically a front facing piece of trim that hides the main structure. Along with these pieces here and the crown molding, and of course the baseboards, all of that will hide the main structure. In this drawing that Michaela did, you can see how these beams are gonna be built. So we have the plywood right here, and that is this entire board. Right here we have a, in this drawing, one by four, which we have opted to use two by fours, right? And that right there is another one by four, which has been switched to a two by four. On the other side of it is another piece of plywood, just like that right there. And basically we're gonna be sandwiching these pieces together to create one whole beam. And we are gonna have six of those beams in total. One here, 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 and here. We are gonna start by putting together each beam and then we'll install each beam to the wall. secured onto the ceilings and also onto the floor. And next, what we're gonna work on 
are the cabinet tops that go up here, the desktop that will be here, and then the other cabinet top that will be here. This full surface here, this one, and this one. plate that is going to go on the top here which will have the crown molding on top of that plate it will be this plate right back there <laughs> At this point, the casings are done. The main surface shelf has also been mounted. Now, what we're gonna work on, which is kind of what we've mocked up over here, are the faces for the cabinets, the casings over here, the plinth blocks, the baseboards, and more plinth blocks and casings. We have already got some of the pieces cut out, so we're just gonna fit everything on and install it. Thank <laughs> you. 
entire lower portion of our library is basically complete at this point, minus the cabinet doors. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is work on this top section here, add some of the trim that we have, and then we will install the crown molding once it arrives in the mail. So we went with these pointed and rounded arches that are going to be in each individual shelf. And I've actually just finished getting these cut out and sanded, so I'm going to go ahead and put them on now. currently working on finishing up these doors and I've already got these doors over here about halfway finished but I wanted to take you through what I'm doing with these doors before I move on to the next one and wrap these up because we are getting very very close to paint now what I've done is I've already mounted the hinges on here and these are self-closing hinges so when you get them to about here they close on their own and right now these don't fit the way they should but I just have to trim them. Right now what I'm gonna work on is getting the pieces of trim that are gonna be surrounding the door. These pieces are gonna be pretty straightforward. It's just a 45 degree miter right there. And I'm gonna need four long pieces and four shorter pieces, just like these ones over here. So I'm gonna get those cut out and installed on these doors, and then I'll move on to these ones. basically it for these two doors. In a few days, we'll be getting our pulls that are gonna be going in the center here. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next set, get those finished up. Hopefully tomorrow, we can start painting all of this. The cabinet doors are now done. I just finished drilling out the holes for our pulls that arrived today. 
These are gonna look very good once everything is painted. Speaking of paint, now that everything is done, we are to the point where we can start painting. Over the past few days, Michaela has gone through the library and sanded down just about everything that needed to be sanded down and filled everything that needed to be filled. And now we are ready to start painting our library.
library is now completely painted. Throughout the painting process, you will have noticed that Michaela was in and out. She was working on the shelves and also the cabinet doors while I was up here also working on the library. Since those are also done, we're gonna go ahead and put everything on. Finally, after months of work, our library is now done, completing our entire living room area. And this is the library I designed over a year ago, brought to life. The only changes we really made to the original design was bringing down the plinth blocks to the very bottom, not adding this arch right here and then doing away with these shelves aside from that we built this library exactly how michaela originally designed it we have already started gathering up a lot of the things that we are adding to our library and we're excited to fill our library up over the years full of things that set our hearts on fire art books mystery books history books antiques decor etc 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 it does feel kind of strange to finally have this entire area complete until we move on to other rooms it feels weird to not have something immediate to do in this room anymore anyways thank you as always for watching this video and we will see you in the next renovation video where we start working on another one of the rooms in the house. It's a surprise. <laughs>